I don't want to let my country down. <laughs> pull it, pull it off. <laughs> And that guy is so sexy, and she was like, I'm going for it. She was like, Hi, do you have fuego? Ooh. Damn, that's how it works. Hello! Hello, I'm Andrea from Spain. Hi, I'm Andrea from Mexico. Hi, I'm Andy from Brazil. Hi, I'm Loida from Argentina. Hi, I'm Loida, and I'm from Argentina. The accent, I think between us, the most different accent is the Portuguese accent, yes. the Brazilian Portuguese accent. I'm a minority here right now. <laughs> but obviously, because it's a, it's a different language. Mm -hmm. It's like in South America, we speak Spanish, Portuguese, and which other language? Maybe the native ones? French? Yeah, yeah. in one of the. Iguana. Iguana. Francesa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think, of course, Portuguese. I cannot understand Portuguese at all. So, yeah. For me, the most different between you guys is like this is a team and that's her. <laughs> Andrea, Andrea, Andrea's team. team. Always we are like. We're a, always Andrea's team. We are always like. Are you? Pack. No. Are you bullying? <laughs> We're on camera, please. <laughs> I will group like these. <laughs> come, 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 baby, come. Oh, ole, 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 ole. We used to say bacon, but bacon comes from the English and the Spanish word will be panceta. I think so too. I'm not sure what's the word that we use in Argentina. I'm not sure. Tocino. Also, we say tocino too. No. In Brazil, we say tocino. Tocino. Oh, tocino. So it's the same. I think tocino is a weird brothers and sisters. Yeah. <laughs> How to say bacon? I don't want to let my country down. <laughs> Panceta. Panceta. Ah, panceta. In Spain, we say bacon or panceta. In Mexico, tocino. In Brazil, we say bacon or, to or tocino. I think we can say tocino in Argentina too. Yeah, panceta, I think, is more, most common. No. 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 I mean, you're next to, you're next yeah, to the people upstairs, so. <laughs> From the, the States? No. Yes. Mm. And we love to see, you know, in Mexico, like the common breakfast, I think, will be something with eggs, like tortillas, of course, frijoles, which is black beans, some meat, it could be like salchicha. Looks like an English breakfast. Uh, like beans, beans, salchicha, and, and eggs. Yeah. Okay, so you have brunch every day. Well, but but in, in Spain, or breakfast, you used to have bread, like yeah. toast yeah. or like cereal. In Spain, we say sujetador. In Mexico, we say brasier, sujetador, but mostly I think like young people say bra. Uh, bra. Uh, sostén too. Ah, so, sostén. Sostén sujetador because it, it comes uh, from the action of. Uh, pull it, pull it up. <laughs> In Brazil, we say sutia. Uh, oh. Sutia. S U T I A A with the U and N. In Argentina, we say corpiño. Oh, really? Corpiño. Corpiño. Corpiño for us is like for little girls when they're just start like growing. Corpiño. Uh. Or uh, like a sport bra. No, we say corpiño in everything. For me, yeah. corpiño is the only thing for cor yeah, like wow. a corset. Oh. That is a corpiño, and used to you need to yeah make a tie it here. Like Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh. That's the best. <laughs> No, in Mexico yeah, sostén. Say. Yeah, I guess you can say sostén. There's like people would understand, but like it's kind of weird. I think it depends of the region you live as well. Mm -hmm. Like what about bra? But I think we use no, more sujetado. Oh no, no, it, because it's from like a English word, I guess. Cigarro. Oh no. Cigarro. Also, we say pitillo. In Spain, we use more cigarro, but also like in the slang can be un, un pitillo, pitillo. In Mexico, it's a uh, cigarro. Cigarro, cigarrete, cigarrillo, no, uh, well, cigarrillo. Cigarro, maybe, cigarrillo. But not, not that much. Like, I think that the cigarro, thing one, cigarrillo. it's called oh, yeah. different, but I, I'm not, I, I do not smoke, so cigarro. We say cigarrillo and pucho. Cigarrillo. Pucho, yeah, I hear those are the most common ones that I hear. Yeah, you can, you can hear many people between friends like uh, if one doesn't has and one's one uh, pass me un piti dame, dame un piti give give me a piti give me a cigarro give me a cigarette but it's like in the slang so you say only from pitillo you short that word and say piti only piti it's only between friends 
<laughs> well, I have oh, yeah, one yeah. friend. She does not even <laughs> smoke. She doesn't smoke at all. But <laughs> I remember at the bar, she was like, ah, a friend was like, I want a cigarette, and that guy is so sexy. And she was like, I'm going for it. She's like, hi, do you have fuego? <laughs> oh, damn, that's how it works. Oh, I have the same headphones. <laughs> they are great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In Spain, we say auriculares. Uh, in Mexico, I think it's uh, audífonos. Audífonos. Uh, if I go to you guys, say, can I spare me like your phone de oído? Would you understand? No. What more? Phone de oído. Phone de oído. No. Oh. Oído. Oído, oído, oído. Oh. Ah, oído. Never. Auricula. Fone de, de, de oído. oído. Ah, Como de el, oído. el teléfono Fone del. De ya. Ah, en Argentina dice auriculares. 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 Me cuesta. Auriculares. It's difficult. It's hard. Auriculares. Ah, you know, in the slang in Spanish, we also say cascos. Cascos. Ca ah, like, cas casco is helmet, but yeah, it's like, so, uh, like, uh, yeah, like, I, can I borrow your cascos? So, also auriculares or cascos? Uh, nowadays, it's like, can I have your AirPods? Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. Morrón? But that's a type of, of pimiento. Yeah. Or you call to pimiento, all the pimientos are morrón? Morrón? Those? Those that are in the picture are morron. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's a type. Ah, uh, really? Or you say pimiento. You no, we say morron. Ah, you ah, because we have pimiento morron. It's from a, another part from Spain. Oh, we we combine it as well. Like, can I have a pimiento morron uh -huh. or morron? Red, green, or yellow? Which one do you oh, want? Oh, I just uh -huh. my mom is just like buy me a yellow morron. I just found out like pimiento morron is paprika. I didn't know it. Like. You know what? Nowadays, everyone's like, "Hi, I'm gonna put some paprika, like to feel yeah. fancy." And, and it's a pimiento. Yeah, that's like that's a, 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 like a thing, nah? Like everything with paprika, please. And I was like, "What's paprika? Like a type of chili or whatever?" I was like, "Yeah, I've been hearing paprika for years." And like two weeks ago, I realized paprika is pimiento morrón. Uh, already, I discovered. Oh, oh really? <laughs> I, I I didn't know. I just uh, discovered now. Now I'm not stupid. I'm the intelligent one. I never thought paprika for me was like another kind of pimiento. I never thought that was pimiento morrón. In Spain, we say pimiento. In Mexico, we say either pimiento morrón, pimiento or morrón. In Brazil, we say pimiento. Oh, oh okay. That makes pimiento. sense. In Argentina, we say morrón. Morrón. Guajillo pepper actually is a different kind of pepper. For me, morrón. <laughs> In English? <laughs> Yeah, moron. Moron. Oh, moron. Moron, moron is like dumb. Yeah. No, but like, do you, you pronounce that like uh, in English? Moron? No, you say moron, but it moron. sounds similar. Moron. Really? Moron. moron. I didn't even know moron. that. I think that's why they call it paprika. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Heavy. <laughs> because it's, it's not a good marketing, right? Wow. Paprika. And now I feel intelligent again. <laughs> oh. oh. Ah. ah. Calzones. Ah, calzones. Traigo los calzones bien puestos. You say calzón, we say calzón. Are you going to show us? No, no. no. Ah, we call this. Where, where are you? Where are you, panties? I are know. here? Are I here? Like, I don't want to know which kind. No. Your um, panties are in an uncomfortable place? No, I'm sorry. We say calzones to like for men. Oh, calzones yeah. shows for men, yeah. Uh, okay, I think in Mexico, probably in other parts of Mexico, like uh, every single city or every single state from Mexico has like different slangs of different kind of saying things. So I think I've heard pantaletas, mm -hmm. calzoncillos. A calzoncillos for us is for men too. Yeah. I saw that I learned a lot of new words in Spanish. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I love to learn like slang words or slang phrases from other parts of the world because it's so fun. You're trying to say something, but in another country, like it will be a total different context. So. so today we talk about word differences. If you like the video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment. We'll see you soon. Bye.